welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel i haven't said anything i am high key tired basically what i'm doing with this vlog because i haven't explained anything i am trying to build a, re a reading routine i can't even speak i'm trying to build a reading routine for myself because i have been reading a lot of audiobooks and um, ebooks that i haven't been going through my physical tbr and I'm currently reading The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. It's very small, but also Toni's writing, I just want to say Toni's writing is pretty advanced. I want I don't want to say hectic like yeah, I'm sure anything like that, but it is advanced. She writes in in such a poetic way that, you know, you just kind of like every single paragraph you're like, "Okay, fine, cool. Let's unpack that." A lot a lot of people on Instagram basically said that this book is very sad, but so far it's I haven't felt those kind of vibes um i read in the mornings i was drinking my coffee i also read again now actually I'm only on page 15 and there was a line that i actually really liked here if happiness is anticipation with certainty we were happy and for some reason i don't know why that sentence just resonated with me it's just it just sounds good one myth well i have two methods um read whilst you're drinking your coffee because i feel like it's much easier than reading whilst you're eating um and then obviously read after like your dinner time like that's basically the whole point of this vlog and i'll see you when i see you took all of the grief out of the word of, out of the words and left me with the conviction that pain was not only endurable it was sweet okay miss ma'am Today is day two of me trying to build a reading routine for myself. I'm enjoying this book. I finally got the hang of the writing and I am liking it so far. Though every single time I say that I'm liking this book, someone is like, R.I.P. cutie, you're going to cry. And I'm like, guys, <laughs> stop it. It's like, okay, cool. Yeah, it's a sad book. But now I'm like a little scared. There was a scene that kind of freaked me out that was kind of like, oh my God, okay. It was very graphic and it was very violent. I'm liking this book. I'm liking the characters. So far, I'm liking Claudia more than anybody else. Also, how Tony, Tony just randomly said that people are ugly. Like out of nowhere, she's just like, oh, this family is ugly and they've accepted that they're ugly. And I'm like, I will. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later when I do have an update of this book and I'm going about building my reading routine. trying to build my reading routine i try a new method this morning i don't think works very well how do you guys eat 
and read at the same time especially reading a physical copy it was just like and trying to the page it was really really difficult i don't know how other people do it they make it look so like easy i thought there was going to be method number three but i cut that out because obviously that didn't help but i'm reading the blurest eye by tony morrison and i am taking my time with it and i don't want to rush it because i feel like if i rush it i'm not gonna get the gist of it I, like i'm not gonna absorb the goodness of this book i love the women that are presented here like we're showing different women here now we got introduced to geraldine the way tony explains the type of woman geraldine is is just the way that she's explained it was kind of like oh like she's so uptight guys like she's so uptight i i just found myself really shook at how tony explains this type of woman okay, there was also this girl that was introduced her name is Arian, if I'm not mistaken. She is Regina George. She is so mean. I didn't like her and I hope she gets hit by a car. Like, Piccola didn't deserve that. Like, Piccola doesn't deserve the things that are happening to her. I've said before that I actually enjoy Claudia's character. I really love her. She just goes along with things, guys. Even if she doesn't know what something means or what's happening, she just goes along with it. And I don't know, that level of confidence, I love it. The focus that I've gotten so far, it's the, the concept of beauty. What means to be beautiful and who says someone or something is beautiful or not and the beauty standards amongst black people and the comparison of beauty and all of that and what beauty means to one person and how each person views themselves and i'm seeing that a lot from frida claudia and Pecula and now Marion how you know someone who's considered beautiful and how they are treated and everything like that which I think is such a great way that she's going about showing all these different views and these different thoughts the one thing that I'm having a problem with is just like how she starts a paragraph it will start like this she starts like so randomly and I'm like okay fine cool what are we talking about like only for you like halfway maybe you'll find out like here what she's talking about I don't like that personally like I like to read and get an idea of what's going on what I'm getting myself to because without thinking that you know she's introducing a new character or we're getting a POV of a different character is yes, that is all for now we'll talk to you guys when I do have another update something just happened guys my fave claudia she is such a mess okay something bad just happened to frida you see out here like i'm always missing out on things girl she's complaining about being the last to know things being the last to get things and it's just that like, girl come on sometimes let the train miss you hey let the train miss you claudia basically just played out that reminded me of the help and now i can't get it out of my head when i look at mrs breed lover i think of viola davis i don't know why <laughs> So I haven't recorded anything. First of all, San Bonan. Today is a day four of actually me doing or building a reading routine and I haven't filmed anything because I'm down bad. Cramps are no child's play. But still here. You know, as soon as you dislike a character, Tony comes about and just gives you like a background of why the character is a certain way. And then now you have to feel sorry for them. It's just like, I didn't want to feel sorry for them, Tony. I wanted to hate them. I'm feeling sorry just a little bit. I feel sorry for Polly. I feel really sorry for Polly. I feel sorry for Charlie. But I feel sorry just a little of Charlie because I don't like men. But right now, I am getting a little bit of background of Charlie. Tony writes some real stuff that's kind of like okay miss ma'am love also the concept of all the topics that she actually touches on and how beauty just runs deep bruh like let's not look at it on the surface it actually runs deep i'm just gonna go back into reading and i'll see you when i see you does 
this all the time she, she draws you in like you read and you find yourself being absent-minded about certain things and you're feeling sympathy for a certain character and they do, and then they do something and it's just like I'm really trying not to cut but Kula doesn't deserve the things that are happening to her she doesn't I hope Charlie dies I really like I hope Tommy kills this man you know all you bitches were right this book is sad it's heartbreaking I can't believe I'm gonna sleep with the broken heart first of all it took me all of a good 20 minutes just to get over what Charlie did now whoever this new character is being introduced is into little girls because he doesn't want to recognize that he might be gay I want to fight Tony now I just want to fight Tony like I just want to fight her now miss ma'am are we sure are we sure are we sure I definitely chose my grandmother's face today um, hi guys i am finally done yeah tony tony has this thing of just writing such a beautiful piece of work and bringing all sorts of emotions out of you all those really devastating emotions evoked basically this book is about picula and many many other women that see beauty in different ways and we follow mostly Pecula and her constant need or want to having blue eyes we follow these different characters these different women who experience more or less the same thing as Pecula but in different ways and how they see themselves in terms of beauty and how other people see them is important to them because they want to look a certain way to appease other people this this book has a lot of like interesting characters has a lot of messy characters has tony does this thing of humanizing a person and then making them do something despicable she's basically like this person is this way or this person did this thing because they had a bad upbringing because something bad happened to them so you know that saying hurt people hurt people kind of like that i don't know how to feel about it i don't want to lie at some point i wanted to fight tony because i was just like there is no way certain things just need to miss you and claudia for some reason didn't understand that Kila didn't deserve anything that happened to her she did not deserve it i was so very much invested in the characters here and what they went through just the overall topic of beauty especially in the black community and how it is definitely a mental thing such a like it's such a small book but it has a lot like there are a lot of topics that are touched here a lot of things all the people on instagram if you're watching this and who said that this book um r.i.p cutie you're gonna cry i did cry i feel like this book is beautifully written and i definitely definitely recommend in terms of me building a reading routine i like reading in the morning whilst i'm having my coffee and also reading uh, after like each meal if i do have like 10 minutes of reading after each meal but do comment down below what is your guys reading routine how do you go about actually reading your physical books is it something that you do on a wimp or is it something that you actually have to plan reading is such a great escape for me so it's very very important for me to read something that i want to make time for i think that's why i created this reading routine is that it's very important for me to schedule my reading if you did enjoy this vlog please do give me the thumbs up even if you didn't enjoy it give me if you haven't already please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little bell to get notified every single time your home girl post a video until next time sugars thank you so much for watching bye